What's up, movie collectors, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer, and it's time for another quickie movie haul with us going through more and more movies that I have picked up recently, and there's always something awesome to be checking out, so let's see what is new on to the table today. First up is a fabulous Hammer sci-fi film that I actually haven't seen, but I've seen some of the series that these are based off of. Um, this is uh, Quartermass 2. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen this one, but I have seen Quartermass in the Pit um, in another one. But um, I know there's a series too that I kind of want to check out, but... Um, yeah, I'd never seen this one, so I really don't know much about it other than uh, Scream Factory put this one out. Um, but all the Quartermass kind of sci-fi kind of sci films are really interesting, the ones I've seen. And I'm uh, really looking forward to checking this one out and see what it has to offer. Uh, I always get this one mixed up with Quartermass in the Pit, so I think I actually bought that other one twice because I thought it was this one. But I uh, finally did manage to get this one in the collection. I've never had it before. So first time. And it's going to be a first time watch when I actually sit down and check it out. So hopefully I'll be doing that soon. Because Val Guest directed this one. And he is a favorite genre filmmaker of mine. So that is Quartermass 2. <laughs> I was going to say in the pit. But next up is a 90s... 90s, right? Yeah, 90s slasher. Um, 1997, I was 17. Uh, I think the last quickie uh, movie haul video, I did the sequel to this. Or it was two two ago, two videos ago. But um, I realized I did not have this on Blu-ray, so I decided to remedy that. I believe it was Hamilton Books had it for dirt cheap. Uh, it is I Know What You Did Last Summer. And... Though this kind of followed the craze after Scream came out, like people just started churning out slasher team flicks. Um, looking back on it now, I actually really do like this one. And um, yeah, the characters are cool. The premise is neat. Uh, just a lot of cool 90s vibes there. Uh, reminds me of being back in high school. But um, definitely an enjoyable film. And I had a little crush on Jennifer Love Hewitt. I think I mentioned that before in the uh, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer when I was showing that one off in the last movie haul. But um, just a cool film. And like I said, really awesome cast. I think everyone does an amazing job in this one. Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Felipe, and I can't remember that dude's name, but he was... In, oh, Freddie French Jr. How did I forget about that guy? But um, yeah, cool slasher, um, 90s slasher. And like I said in other videos, I've been kind of trying to collect all the uh, like random 90s slashers that came out back then. Uh, like Urban Legend, those kind of things. And Valentine, I think I mentioned that before. I really want to check that one out because I haven't seen that one since the theaters. But um, yep, I know what you did last summer. Owned it previously on DVD and pretty much just kind of filling out my Blu-ray um, upgrades that I need to do. And I, like I said, I already got the sequel. So now we got the first movie and one and two. Is there a third? I don't no, I don't want to know. But um, next up is a uh, Werner Herzog film. Is it Werner or Werner? Werner Herzog film. Um, this one's actually really interesting. I don't even know how you would pin it down or what kind of genre it is. But um, it's definitely something that is unique and pretty cool subject matter and i actually saw it for the first time in college i think when they were showing various films that we should watch and really dug it and i decided you know what i need it in my collection and picked it up it is aguar is that how you say it aguar the wrath of god and claus kinsky right there uh, just doing what claus kinsky does uh, crazy weird performances and this one is probably one of his best because he's really center the uh, central figure in the film and it's just a really strange uh, movie pretty much uh, I believe it follows like the Spaniards the conquistadors um, and they're looking for the uh, city of El Dorado uh, for gold and they just are going down the this river system uh, and just 
losing their minds pretty much. They all their numbers are getting picked off one by one, and it's just a really surreal film by the end. Uh, film by the end of it, really strange stuff and unique. Like I said, it's a story that's just kind of showing the unraveling of a group of explorers, you know, trying to find a mythical city. It's really, really interesting and shot really beautifully by Mr. Herzog and uh, just a really interesting film, like I keep saying. <laughs> but um, this one was put out by Shout Factory and yeah, I've never owned this one on DVD, so this is a first time in the collection. And yeah, it's just nice to have it because I haven't really watched it. Well, I did watch it. I think I watched it recently. I think it was on Amazon last year. I watched it, I think. But that was the first time that I've seen it since college. So it was nice to revisit it and nice to have it in the collection. But let's move it on to a completely different film. It is a martial arts action fighting movie. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It is Jean-Claude Van Damme's Double Impact. And I do believe I have revisited this one at least a year or two ago. And just a really good performance by Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's not known for his range, but um, he does a really good job playing two different characters. I know that was like a huge thing around this time where all the martial artists or action stars would star in a film where they had a twin. I know Jackie Chan did it with Twin Dragons. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme did it with Double Impact. I'm sure there's a few that I can't think of, but I don't know why it was kind of a running thing back then, but um, definitely an interesting film. Um, not one of his best, but not one of his worst. Very entertaining and yeah, just a fun, fun movie with some great action scenes and cool premise. But um, yeah, Double Impact. Never owned this one. Um, I haven't really owned a lot of Jean-Claude Van Damme films. Kind of slowly kind of picking them up um, recently. Just kind of, I know, I, I think I showed Street Fighter a couple videos ago. Um, I don't know if Sudden Impact or Sudden Death, the one where <laughs> the Penguins hockey movie or whatever. That one's ridiculous. Um, I think I picked that one up, but ridiculous ridiculous fun but let's move it on to some more martial arts kung fu stuff but we'll go a little bit further back in the day from shaw brothers and it is heroes 2 now i've been collecting a lot of shaw brothers films and like i've shown before um the um shaw brothers volume one box set that's really awesome and amazing i've been through a bunch of those ones but um i I've been collecting them, but haven't really watched all of them that I have. So Heroes 2 is one of those ones where I picked it up and have never seen it before and just going to probably sit down and have a little martial arts marathon and churn a little more of those these guys out because I know I've done a lot with the Shaw Brothers um, big box set and really looking forward to checking more of these classics out because they're all... Really amazing films, but it's just really hard to go through them after another, one after another. Because um, I like to mix up my genres, and I don't like to stick in the same kind of um, style film. So, Heroes 2, I will have to sit down and revisit, or not revisit it, because I've never seen it, but check it out. And I don't know if I've owned this one on DVD. A lot of these Shaw Brothers ones kind of blur in my memory of what I have on DVD and what I have on Blu-ray. But, um, yep. Regardless, it is on Blu-ray and in the collection now. But let's move it on to another another off-topic film. Um, this one is a, a fairly more recent or modern uh, sci-fi film. It's a low-budget kind of experimental film this guy did. And he had a huge cast and just a lot of effects that I believe he did most of it for. Um, came out in 2004. And I got a soft spot for this film. And I actually watched it recently with my daughter and really dug it again. Uh, the movie is Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. And this is just a really cool throwback to kind of like adventure serials, uh, science fiction kind of shorts, or, you know, serials too. And just a, just a fun premise. It reminds me a lot of like, like different Ray Harry housing kind of creatures too. And a mix of Indiana Jones, just a, a mix of a bunch of different genres. But really cool stuff. Stellar cast with Jude Law, 
Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie. And one of those films that kind of came and went and nobody really talks about it, but I always thought it was a really fun uh, and just kind of escapism kind of film. And don't really know what to say about it other than that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out because it is fun. Um, it does have that kind of Indiana Jones feel, like I said, and just a fun, harmless adventure film. But definitely check it out, the Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. And I do have this on DVD, so just upgraded it for the collection. Next up is a movie that I swear i probably seen it before, but I don't remember a damn thing. I don't have fond memories of it if I did watch it, but um, I'm collecting pretty much anything Vestron Video puts out. And they put out this very weird, odd vampire film. And yeah, it's a little bit different. It came out in 1990. Uh, it has David Carradine in it and a bunch of other people, plus a little side character of Bruce Campbell's in it. Uh, the movie is Sundown, The Vampire Retreat. And the Vampire in Retreat, I mean. And it's, it looks really, really weird and cheesy. Uh, but I have not sat down and gave it a chance um, to kind of revisit it. Because I know I've seen it a little bit parts of it before. But um, <laughs> really, really interesting looking film. And um, I believe it's just like a town that's kind of run by vampires. And they're just trying to live their normal lives. And stuff starts going crazy. But um, yeah, other than that, I, I don't remember much. And I don't know much about it. Other than Vestron put it out and I said, hey, it's damn cheap. Pick it up and why not take a stab at it? Um, but yeah, Sundown Vampire in Retreat. Cool looking, weird oddity and don't know what else to say about it. But let's move on to a fun spy film uh, in the same vein of James Bond uh, a whole bunch of these movies came out, and I'm a sucker for them. I don't know if you've followed me for a long time. I used to do uh, blog reviews of Eurospy films, and that was kind of my passion, is just hunting them all down. And when I was looking for different spy films, like 60s spy films, I kind of ran across this one. And always loved it, thought it was really fun, and had that style that I love from those 60s spy films. And the movie is Arabesque. And um, just a really great cast with Gregory Peck and Sophia Loren. And just a fun little spy caper. And really well done, from what I remember, because it's been a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, cool film. And Kino Lorber put this one out, so I picked it up a lot. One of their sales, I don't know which one. But really cool. Cool film, got a little slip cover for it, and I don't believe I've had a legit copy of this one. Uh, I probably had a burned DVD that I bought from somewhere because it was never really available anywhere. But now it is on Blu-ray, and I have picked it up because I love this kind of spy film, 60s flicks, and just got to get it in the collection. But let's finish this off with one more. It is kind of an under-the-radar kind of creature feature horror flick that came out in, I believe, the late 90s, 1997. Um, I've always liked this one. I thought it was a really cool premise. And I like the leads in the role. I mean, in the movie. And the movie is The Relic. Really cool film. From what I can remember, I think I actually saw this in theaters when it came out. But, um, yep, Penelope Ann Miller and Tom Sizemore in this one. And I remember the creature uh, effects were really... Uh, decently done. I know it's a very dark film, so it's kind of hard to see what the creature exactly looks like, so they kind of keep it in the shadows, and just the whole film is really cool. It's actually directed by Peter Hyams, who has a whole slew of really, really great sci-fi films, and um, definitely check out anything he's done back in the day. Really awesome director with some really underrated gems, and this being one of them, though it's not as... Uh, you know, well done as his other ones. This is still a really cool late 90s film that um, definitely should have been talked about a little bit more and not kind of swept under the rug when it just came and went, went like a fart in the wind. But uh, that's The Relic, and do not believe I've owned this one. So first time in the collection, and interesting flick. But I do believe that that is it for this video 
A lot of interesting stuff from all types of genres, all walks of cinematic life. But, yep, good, good haul. And like always, we are getting through the pile, but the pile is always steadily growing. So it's kind of just a, a stalemate. We're just, the pile's always staying the same, even though I'm doing all these videos. So whatever, uh, wealth of riches. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one. And I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I'll see you crazy bastards the next time I'm in front of a camera talking about movies. So stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you guys later. See ya!